Let's talk about successor trustees. As we talked in the previous video, initial trustees are usually the people creating the trust, the grantors, or the trustors. Basically, if I'm creating a trust, I am still the owner of it, but I'm also the initial trustee, meaning that I'm in charge of everything, everything is still mine, I have full control over everything. Now, let's talk about successor trustees. Who are they? How do they come about? What can they do? Successor trustees are the people that come after the initial trustees, are the people that, in, that the initial trustees, the grantor, have nominated to serve after them. And they usually, the successor trustees, come into play into one of the three circumstances. Number one, if the initial trustees or grantors, if the owners or owner, if it's just one, become incapacitated. And the trust says something like, in the event that I become incapacitated, and incapacitated it has a definition in the trust ideally, I appoint so-and-so, my son, my daughter, my friend, to serve as my successor trustee. If I do become incapacitated, my son, daughter, whomever I nominated, gets to serve in my shoes and follow the terms of the trust. Number two, death. When I die, I appoint my son, daughter, my cousin, my friend to serve as my successor trustee. Very easy to prove death. Here is the, the owner's death certificate or the previous trustee's death certificate. And three, if the owner or the initial trustees or a successor trustee resigns. I serve for a while, but this is getting too much for me. I live out of state, I'm not feeling well, I have little kids, I'm not interested in serving. A trustee can resign, and that would allow the next person to serve as successor trustee. So for example, <clears throat> I am the initial trustee, I create my trust, I nominate my son to serve as my successor trustee. If my son cannot do it, then I appoint my daughter. If my daughter cannot do it, then I appoint my cousin. So if my son serves for a while, let's first, in order for my successor trustee to serve, I have to be into one of the three circumstances, incapacitated, death, or I just want to resign. Because let's say I'm sick and I'm going through some special treatment. I appoint my son, so my son gets to serve. He may serve for a while and says, okay, this is just too much for me. Then he can resign and then he has a successor trustee, the person nominated after him to serve. And if let's say my daughter um, is incapacitated, she was in a car accident, then the next person gets to serve and so on. So successor trustees, as a quick summary, are the people nominated in a trust document to serve usually either after the initial trustees, after the owners of the trust, or after uh, previous successor trustees, if we, have, um, if we have a list of trustees designated. What are some duties of a successor trustee? Well, basically the same thing as the previous trustees, they have to follow the terms of the trust. A successor trustee is not an owner of the trust, he's not a grantor, it's just a manager, if you will, that has to follow the terms of the trust, whatever the distribution is, and if the, the grantors, if the owners are still alive, the, the trust assets have to be used usually for, that, for those grantors or that grantor. And then upon the death of the grantor, the successor trustee will have to distribute the funds or manage the trust according to the terms of the trust. They don't have discretion to make changes. They may have some discretion per the terms of the trust in making some of the decisions, uh, but usually they are bound by the terms of the trust pretty strictly. I hope this video helped. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have a link there below. Watch our other educational videos. We have many of them on various topics in the estate planning world. And let us know if you have topics for future videos. I would love to hear from you. 405-857-8231. Thank you for watching.